You know, there was a time when we were always so concerned about where we were going. You know, we were caught up in the hustle and bustle. We were so focused on where we were trying to go. And then the world stopped. And we were forced to be still. Stuck inside and looking inward. Focused on where we were. And in that world, there was a man who called himself Jimmy Sneezos. He was just some guy. A nomad. You might even call him a dingus. But the most important thing that he was was a rider with just a single wheel. And he was trying to do something that no one had ever done before. Ride that wheel coast to coast, or so I thought. I mean, at the time, I was just a young dude trying to catch a ride out west. So I figured I'd tag along, witness this feat in the making. And so this story is a story of some seemingly meaningless journey. Let's ride. But fuck, I mean, that's what just people did back then. I guess yeah. Even if the world stands still, our tree will always grow. And if it loses all its leaves, our love will never go. The only love I know. Home will always be the place where we share. Staging crew. So, the you know the unicycle is the voyage, and we have a crew of people who are supporting the the cross country trek on the uni with all our gear here. But as far as the ride itself, just me, and my backpack, the whole way, and it's gonna be a crazy journey. Are you nervous? You know, people ask me this. And the answer to your question is absolutely fucking not. This is a frontier, and to blaze it, you must go with no fear, no ill will, no anxiety. Fear is the mind killer. All right, it's time to go. So tell me, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to start a new way of life. I'm trying to get across the country, across the world, across this planet, in a new way of being. This here is my, my vessel, my vehicle. It's the only way to travel in 2021. From there, you know, I'm just gonna keep it going. So with that, I'm gonna start riding and I'll see everyone in West Virginia. Best of luck. I'll need it.
door I think that you could knock some more Cause I don't hear that clear Until that open sign appears and Charles needs to feel alive And Mr. Bean's here to oblige Making sure he smiles Today was a long day. 55 miles. We landed here, Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. Winding roads up and down. Civil War monuments to get here. Eating my, my hard earned dinner, brown rice. That's all I eat. My body is a machine, like this machine. And just like any good machine, brown rice. Only thing worth eating. How are you feeling about like the the terrain so far? It's been bumpy. It's been bumpy. I, I miss back on the East Coast when I was on the freeway. At least there is flat, man. You know, cars zipping by, no problem. It's flat, it's chill. Here, it's bumpy, it's terrain, ups and downs. It's hard to navigate on the old wheel, but you know, you just keep it going. Had my, you know, most mileage today, so feeling good about that. Just gonna keep more energy in the tank and push on forward through West Virginia. And then from there, should be flat again, back on the, uh, the Great Prairie, Great Plain, as we uh, head to Colorado. I guess there's the, the big two shoes here. not having an objective. Now, I'm not going to try to convince you of anything, but by the time we hit Kentucky two weeks in, I knew Jimmy was on to something. So, uh... Tell me. What's the digs? We made it all the way to Kentucky. So uh, it's been a long haul through um, various mountain ranges. Um, we passed over Blue Ridge, um, Allegheny, through the New River Gorge, which is quite hairy on the unicycle. But now we finally made it to Kentucky, the flat country, where it's just a straight shot here. There's some caves to worry about on the way, but all in all, things are going well. We've got a good smooth flow as we continue on to flatter, flatter lands. Can you tell me like about Ganymede? Mm. So this here is Ganymede. This is a, 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 16, a 14S um, King Song model. 22 mile per hour is the top speed and it's a 25 mile range. So it requires a fair amount of speed fill up along the way in order for us to make these long, long days. But ultimately, this is the machine for the job, 100%. So what do you have for breakfast? Um, brown rice, yeah, so on a full brown rice diet. There's only brown rice to eat. That's the only thing that's worth eating. And that's what's gonna keep me sustained. Why do you have an interest in crossing the country at all? You know, I've been asking myself that question a lot on the road recently. And for me, it's not about a destination, but more about the journey, you know? We all are in this liminal space, this liminal period with this transition back to a new normal. What does it even mean? What it means is us grabbing the reins of our own reality, riding through the frontiers and ending up where we wanna be. It's all about setting goals, reaching destinations, but along the way, stopping to sniff the roses. And that's what this is all about. And Kentucky is, from what I'm told, has fantastic roses to smell. You know, flow along this beautiful interstate here and make it all the way. It's gonna be a good flow as we head through the place known for its horsepower. We'll see if the electric unicycle can compete. Whose property is this? This is all of our properties. It is the commons. It is for all folk, all people from everywhere on this earth. And it is ours to frolic in.
we were traveling at a crazy time. In those days, like we had become accustomed to the traditional modes of transportation. You know, the roads are filled with cars, the skies filled with planes, the sidewalks filled with walking feet. And it takes a bit of effort to challenge those modes of transportation. So uh, what, where, what you doing? I'm unicycling around. I'm just, um, today it's all about being free, being fun, you know? Long miles on the road, found this cool vineyard, found this apple. It's been so nice given that all I've been eating is brown rice for the last week. You know, brown rice is the, the breakfast of champions, but I'm happy for this apple today. So, today, just zipping around this vineyard, you know, just found on the way. From there, who knows where we go? Maybe Missouri? Maybe even Kansas. We might even hit Kansas today. It would be pretty crazy, honestly. If we get to Kansas, if we get to Kansas today, anything is possible. Do you think you're actually going to get there? No. No, I think it's very unlikely. It's a very far day. We'd have to go to like midnight. And I'd like to get some, some sleep tonight, you know? You know, I think something that everyone watching this is wondering is how do you charge the unicycle? So... You know, it's a, an electric unicycle, so it's all electrically powered. We have a little port out the back, and we actually have a solar rig that hooks into our staging vehicle over here. So overnight, we can just charge it with the solar battery that uh, is with the energy it's been accumulating all day. So the idea is exploring new modes of transportation. How do you get across the country with zero energy consumption, using only sunlight and only brown rice? to get across the country. That's what we're exploring here today. So, uh, what's happened in the last 24 hours? So, last 24 hours has been a big one. We transitioned to the Great Plains here. St. Louis, the arch, the gateway to the west. And we've entered a new transition of this journey. And you know, it's been, a, it's been a tough ride, you know, these long, flat miles, pretty monotonous, you know, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, these are brutal states, and the brutality is just beginning. Today, we wake up here in beautiful St. Louis, Missouri, and we're heading towards Kansas City, um, even towards Lawrence, Kansas, if we can make it. Ultimately, these are the miles that really count in a trip like this, where we're just trying to put them in, we're trying to stay strong as we go, and we'll see what happens. Stop. 